In this part, we're going to work on lighting. I always start with a white model, so I'm not distracted by colors. Let's use the material override and choose a basic corona material. It's really important to exclude all the main things made of glass or another transparent or semi-transparent material, which can significantly influence the image. In our case, it will be the window. We need to create a glass material to apply to the extruded window. Please create the basic V-Ray material. Set the diffuse color for black and set the reflection and refraction color to 252. Our window includes a frame, so we need to create multi-sub material where one material is the glass part and another a basic material. And now apply the material to the model. Next step will be to add the sky to the background. In order to do that, click 8 on the keyboard and use V-Ray Sky as an environmental map. In the render setup, choose IPR options panel and click Start IPR. Lock the viewport on the camera view. Go to the camera rollout and check auto exposure and auto white balance options. This will automatically adjust these settings for us. Stop the interactive rendering and click Transfer to Camera. Notice how the film speed value is changing. Open the Globals panel and adjust the Highlight Burn option to remove burned areas. We can play around with the white balance some more. The image looks flat now. There is no depth. For comparison, I'm showing you two images with textures. One which is my final and another with the lighting from this stage. Can you see the difference? For sure. The first one is sharp, has a strong contrast, looks interesting. The one on the right hand side is flat, there is nothing exciting here. So in order to create an image with character, we need to use some tricks. I'm doing a quick test to explain to you what we will do with our scene. I'm creating two objects a sphere and a box. Let's do one basic material and one with black diffuse. I'm applying two different materials to each. Let's start rendering. Turn off the material override so we can see proper materials.
please take a look at the models in the parts where they are close to each other. We can play with the diffuse color so you can see how it affects the model. You can see that when the object has a black color, the shadows are much stronger than when it's white. And this is what we will be doing to our interior to make the shadows stronger. Firstly, let's create a big plane which will imitate the ground and make the scene look more realistic. Apply a grey material to the plane. Adjust exposure a bit. Create a large sized box and place it. Copy the object and move it. Adjust exposure a bit. Select both boxes and open object properties. Uncheck visible to the camera and visible to reflection refraction options. So you cannot see the boxes behind the window and in the reflection of the window glass. Play around with the boxes and see how this affects the scene. The window area becomes a bit burned. Adjust the highlight burn option again. We need another box which should be placed in between the other two. Look how the new box affects the render. Because we are blocking the environmental light, our interior is getting darker. We need to make our space look brighter. Let's adjust the exposure. You can see that the contrast between light and shadow is getting to be more visible. You can control the height of the boxes as well. Depends on the effect you want to create. Let's add newly created boxes to the excluded objects.
With the pink color, it's even easier to see how these boxes affect the lighting and feel of the image. Create a new material and apply to the boxes. Try to change the diffuse color a few times and think of what is the best option for the result you want to achieve. I think we can start with a darker color and increase the exposure value straight away. I would like to control the richness of the shadows. In order to do that, I am going to play a bit with the curves. To make the calculation of light even faster, you can use the light portals. In order to do this, you will need to create a V-ray rectangular light with the shape of the opening. Select the Skylight Portal option. Cool, we're getting there. We're starting to have nice contrast between light and shadow. It will be good to have some tree blocking the natural light. Let's choose one from your library or you can find anyone you like online. As you choose a tree, test its position a bit and try to find the best spot. Take a look at how the shadow on the wall looks. Move or copy the trees to be visible behind the window. I would like to imitate that this is an apartment but not on the ground floor. In order to do this, 
we can move the trees and the base plane down. Apply the dark material to the plane and exclude this object from the material override. We forgot to turn off auto exposure and auto white balance. Let's do this now. Adjust the exposure again. We can use the camera options to do this. We can make more adjustments to the white balance too. The last step is to move the tree closer to the camera so it's not so bright. It looks good to me. That's it. I'll see you in the next video.